Today, Duval County had its final day of early in person voting and take a look. More than 350,000 people cast their ballots. The supervisor of election says today alone 23,000 people voted. Our Zach Wilcox is taking you beyond the ballot tonight live at the supervisor of elections office in downtown Jacksonville and Zach Duval County set a new record for early voting this election. Yeah, Riley, a record setting weekend. The supervisor of elections says we had about 290,000 early voters, which smashed through the previous record of early voting. That was 263,000, so almost 30,000 more early voters in this particular election. And you mentioned it today alone was a busy day. So we went to one of the busiest precincts, which was actually out in the Argyle Forest area and checked in with some of the voters who were waiting there. I felt compelled to fulfill my duty as a lawful citizen. Dominic Yonfor figured going to cast his ballot at the tail end of early voting would help him avoid the election day lines, but he quickly learned he wasn't the only one who thought that. After church, I came on here, line real long, stepped right in, held on till the very end, and now I voted. Yonfor says it took him and his wife about an hour to get through the line that extended out of the Argyle Forest Library, down the sidewalk, and around the corner. About 55% of all registered voters in Duval County already cast their ballot by either early voting or mail-in. Duval County Supervisor of Elections Jerry Holland says that puts the county on a good trajectory heading into Election Day Tuesday. The record in the last 20 years has been on a percentage has been 77%. I think we're going to be real close to that. That was back in 2008. Holland says there will be one big difference between early voting, where the express vote machines were the default, and Election Day. We will have your ballot for you, so you won't be voting on the express vote unless you need that for some reason. Uh, there will be one in each location, but we'll have pre-printed ballots at the uh, precinct location. Jan Four is relieved he's already fulfilled his civic duty. I can just get it over with, so I won't have to deal with what's expected on Tuesday. I admire the process, and I like that people are turning out to be a part of this process. All right, so the supervisor gave me one last recommendation for folks heading into Election Day, and that's to make sure you have your sample ballot with you. You can see I just went ahead and printed mine out on the way to doing this live shot. And he mentioned that it's a long ballot, uh, a lot of things on here, including some long amendments. So that way you can do your homework, figure out which way you're voting, and then bring it in with you so that you don't forget which way you're voting when you finally get up to, to doing that. In downtown, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.